Roro, are you ready to be a prankster today? Yeah! <laughs> so I've got a decoy bag to say that I've gone to the shop. <laughs> About five minutes have passed, I just keep checking the cameras. She hasn't pulled up yet. Right, you lot, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Now, today is sort of the return of the original Brandon, right? The prank master is back, right? So today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be leaving our baby on his own. <laughs> if she falls for this, she is going to flip her marbles at me, mate. I obviously, like, know everything to do with a dad. Like, I know not to leave your baby, and she knows I know that. I'm going to make this believable, because I'm only going to pop to the shop around the corner and be like, oh, he was just asleep. Like, I just thought I'd quickly go. He's strapped into his bouncer. So it's fine. Like, <laughs> anyway, I thought I had to do this prank, especially while Rome, who, if you're new, is my son, while he's young. He's, like, 15 weeks, so not technically a newborn, but technically a newborn. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then this deserves your subscribe. If it doesn't, I don't know what does. <laughs> subscribe to the channel, because it's still half you watching that haven't subscribed leave a like on this video again comment down below and in fact dm me any other video ideas you want to see that are pranks don't comment them well you can comment them but erin will see so just dm them to me on instagram or something i'm freaking nervous for this i haven't done a prank in a good while like a good six months maybe and this is savage i've wanted to do this video for like two weeks and i had to wait for the perfect time plan of action it is currently 2 39 in the afternoon erin went to get her lashes done at two o'clock so i messaged holly this morning thinking oh my god erin's got her lashes i completely forgot perfect time to do the prank because i I need Erin to be at the house, right? Which doesn't happen often. So, anyway, <laughs> cut the rubbish. She's gone to get her lashes done. She's done at half three, so in about 45 minutes. So I have called Holly and Harrison in. If you're new, my sister is Holly and Harrison is her boyfriend. I've called them in for safeguarding <laughs> to basically watch Rome for the 30 seconds that he's on his own because I obviously don't want to do it anyway. Shows how much of a good parent I am, you know what I mean? Just before Erin gets back from her lash appointment, I'm going to put Rome in his bouncer in the middle of the lounge. He's strapped into it anyway, so that's fine. And I'm going to go and I'm going to drive up the road and just wait up the road. There Hopefully Erin comes back in. I'm gonna lock the front door as well So obviously it looks like I have actually gone out and locked the door Hopefully she's gonna come in see Rome in there. My car's not gonna be there And I don't need to explain the rest. Hopefully she goes bonkers. She knows I wouldn't do that But then at the same time I'm gonna come back. Where's my decoy? So I've got a decoy bag of M&S, which is literally up the road. So I've just put some stuff in here like Powerade, some M&S strawberries and stuff like that to say that I've gone to the shop. And I'm literally basically, all I'm going to do is wait up the road. I can check my CCTV on the house or when she gets home or find friends or whatever. And I'm going to drive back, pull up, come in the house. And she, I mean, you lot are going to see her reaction before me because the camera's obviously going to be on. And she's going to be like, what the hell are you doing? You've left the baby on his own. Erin doesn't know they're here, obviously. That's the point of this. I don't need to do any more explaining. Let's just get into the prank. Before we go any further, guys, I want to talk to you guys about HelloFresh. Now, a lot of you know, if you've been watching me for a while, that I have been working with HelloFresh for years. Now, if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it's basically a flexible food subscription service where you can get fresh ingredients delivered to your door every single week. It's amazing because it saves me going into the supermarket all the time, going and buying lunch and dinners or whatever you want to do. At least I know all my meals are sorted for the week. I don't have to go and buy them. So, for example, I might pick five meals for two people. That covers me and Erin for Monday to Friday. They will literally get delivered straight to your door in a box like this with all of the ingredients in. For example, this is the box and I took all of the meat out and I put it in the fridge and it leaves me with the bags that are coded. So I have got here chicken in creamy peppercorn sauce which is labelled number one. So this bag here, number one for two people is what I would take out. All my ingredients are there and then on the back is the easiest cooking instructions. Trust me, if I can flip and do this, you can do this. And then if you're tracking your macros and stuff, it's all down there. I've also got this, look, chicken chorizo and mushroom Tagatelli Alfredo and a Chipotle beef rigatoni. I've honestly got a wicked discount and you need to try this. Using my code on the screen here, you can get 60% off your first box and then 25% off for your next two months. Plus you'll get free gifts in there. And this offer is exclusive and it's for a limited time only. So make sure you're making use of this now. And it's also open to new customers, of course, and also to existing customers that canceled their subscription 12 months ago or more. So I'm gonna cook up this absolute monstrosity, which looks unreal by the way. And I'm gonna show you the finish touch and here we go just like that literally i've drizzled the with a bit of help with Aaron. yeah I... nah i love peppercorn sauce all over yeah. loads of juicy chicken carrots and peppercorn sauce peppercorn sauce is my favorite sauce mash peppercorn sauce oh my god it's insane. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely incredible. That is a 10 out of 10. So remember, if you want to order from HelloFresh, now is the time to do so while the offer lasts. Code on the screen gets you 60% off your first box and 25% off for the next two months. Plus you get free gifts. Don't miss out on unbelievable meals like this. Unbelievable. Roro, are you ready to be a prankster today? Yeah. <laughs> your first prank on mummy. 
You can be a prankster. Should we get you to smile? Shall we get you to smile for the camera? Can you smile for everybody? <laughs> Are you cheeky boy? B. Uh, B. He's like, uh, what is this? B. He scratched his face. Yeah. <laughs> of course, Ernie's going to be here as well when I go out as well. Right, right, where's your tongue? He stops when the camera comes. I know. Up. Where's your tongue? Where's your tongue? It's like he's nodding at you. <laughs> where's, where's your, your tongue? tongue? You gotta be a good boy for pranking, all right? Say, yeah. we prank mum, we prank mum. Right, the next thing I now need to do is find a spot to put the camera down, which is gonna be hard, because this lounge isn't the biggest lounge, and there's not really many, like, hidden spots. <sighs> Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, this is proper like FBI operation. So I went up to the Furbo and turned the Furbo off because this has got a live camera. So I didn't want Erin to see Holly and Harrison coming in the house. And then I've also had to take the battery out of the ring doorbell. I've done it sneakily. So I went up to the ring doorbell, see if she, if she was watching it or watches the clip back. I was like, oh, let's just change the doorbell, Romy, one second. I took the battery out so that they, she can't check the ring doorbell. The only thing that's still on is the CCTV, but she won't check that because you don't necessarily get motion for that. It's just a live camera. So right now, Erin can't see who's in the house on the Furbo, which is the best bit. And she doesn't even know that Holly and Harrison are here and they've parked in our garage, which she can't see from the front. So yeah, it's a good angle, but Rome isn't in the shop. That is, and you can see the whole of Erin. Oh, that is a wicked So if I'm here, I don't yeah. think she would see that. If I'm here, I'm just going to watch this back. She would just think it's part of the, the, the light. Oh my god, Romy, what's <laughs> Right, that is the angle. So what I've done is, it's going up in the actual light. So if I go to this angle, the light actually disguises it. So it basically just sits in the light. Hopefully it doesn't fall, because if it does, then prank ruined. You can't see the camera, because it's sort of in the lampshade. Oh my god, that is perfect. I'm going to go out soon and start filming on my phone when I'm out in the car. Obviously, we'll be texting Holly to make sure that, you know, we don't mess anything up. Fingers crossed she falls for it. What do you think? Do you think she's going to fall for it? I'm a bit nervous. I'm a bit in two minds about it. I feel like she could just know that you wouldn't ever do that or... I, I do think that, but then I think... My phone, my oh. friends is on for Erin. <coughs> but if I turn it off, she's going to know that I've turned it off. To be fair, she's not going to check, is she? This is what I mean. She has no reason to check that you're here or no, know you're I here. I think she would check. Oh, it's Holly. you got to remember, she doesn't have a clue that you're here. She won't have time to think because Rome will just be in here on her own anyway, on his own anyway. Yeah, that's true. All right, so now I'm going to film with my phone, guys. Bouncer's there. It's going to have Rome in. From here, look. I know you can see it if I zoom in, but like if you imagine you just come in you're really not going to see that it's so disguised like it just fits in well and you can't even see it until you come down like this i've changed i found a cart bag upstairs in my bin that i hadn't actually thrown away yet so i've moved all the stuff just into the cart bag because the co-op's closer and more believable so mns bag's gone <laughs> he's having more milk right up until the last minute we've only got about 20 minutes until she potentially finishes Crying, it may make it better. More believable. Because she might be like, oh my God, he's crying, she'll be stressed And also, out. it's not like I've left him to cry because you're going to be with him until the second she walks yeah. in the door. So, yeah. no, the no, giant no. earwig, the prank, you can listen out. You've got a live prank reaction. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've just realised, to make this more believable, rather than him facing the front door with nothing on the TV, I'm going to put the Dory's fish tank on, which he always watches, and I'm literally going to face him to that because it'd make more sense. But I'm literally just going to flip this round and he's going to be facing the fish tank because it's like I would leave him watching it rather than just, you know, planting him in the middle of the room. It doesn't look believable at all. Right, it's quarter past three. <laughs> These two are going to hide in the understairs oh cupboard. God. This is going to be a test, ready? You're going to be in there really quick. Oh, oh, baby, look at you. Brandon, you can't leave him there. <laughs> Can you hear me all right? Yeah. All right, perfect. Right, I need to go because I'm getting scared that she's going to pull up early. Right, got to be groceries. Oh, my God, oh, I'm so nervous. I, for some reason, I feel like this is the most nervous I've been for a prank. Oh, my God. Right, let's get out of here. <sighs> right. I've parked around the corner. I'm literally trembling. Like, I'm so scared. I'm nervous. I'm shaking. I've got to film, then look at the camera on the app on my phone to be able to tell Holly when she's home. So I need to be quick filming, but it's all set up. Everyone's going to walk in. Rob's going to be facing the TV watching Dory's fish tank. <laughs> I need to get my acting face on because Holly and Erin always take the mic that she, they can tell when I'm lying. I need to get my OG brand and prank face on. <sighs> what do you mean? It's fine. I just went to the shop like that. Got me a bag of co-op groceries. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> about five minutes have passed. I just keep checking the cameras. She hasn't pulled up yet. I mean, her appointment finishes 
in five minutes, but she might already be on her way home. I don't know. She might have finished five minutes earlier. So this is my last clip now until I go in and it's just going to be on the clipping side. I'm, I'm relying on Holly here that she's turned the camera on properly in that light and it hasn't fell. <sighs> it's prank time now. I'm going to watch the cameras because I can't miss this. Restart the clip. She's moving. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Two minutes. Where did I put my phone? See, he's fine. What was that important that you needed to get? I just went to get some drinks. I was literally dying for a power aid. I'm sorry, but you're having a nice time. Baby. Oh, see? That's what I'm saying. He was already settled in it, so I didn't want to like, put him out and then take him to the shop with me. Say, mummy, I was fine. Did I was thinking, in... where the hell is your car? Wait, right, so what did you what did you do when you came in? Was he alright? I just thought you was in the toilet or something. Mm. What did you not see my car not there? Yeah. What and then what? Yeah, but I just didn't think that he was on it. <laughs> Say, mummy's stupid. What the hell? You can't do that again. I can. You can't. He's fine. But that's really. It's two minutes. I don't care. It's... Why is the dog was licking his face <laughs> or doing something? The car is literally there. I don't care. The dog don't do anything. If it was like a Rottweiler, I'd be like, yeah, fair enough. But he's a cockapoo. We know what he's like. He's no, fine. you can't trust any dog with a baby. Well, I was going to put him in the door and shut him in. But then, what if he kept barking at him? And then, unsettled. Even so, what if he was crying? 
growing. No, you weren't growing. I had the fur bars. Right, you can't ever do that. <sighs> it's not safe. You're so dramatic. No, look, he's absolutely fine. He's literally looking at you like, what the hell? Okay. He's fine. <laughs> I was watching the fur bow, it's no different. Let's say something happened, I could I I was two minutes away. Two minutes. You wouldn't know something happened, would you? Because you weren't here. I had the fur bow on the whole time, I was watching it. No, you wouldn't. How do you know? Well, why are you driving? You was watching him, was you? It's not hard just to put the app up. No. And it there. You knew I finished at half three, you were just waiting until I got back. No, because I, I, you, you always overrun with Abby, so right. I'm like, Yeah, well done. I'll just quickly go. I can't believe you've done that. Can you just take him a few steps? He's quite nice. <laughs> Do you think you'd leave the baby on his own? <laughs> oh, my oh my god! Oh my god, it's so hot in there. Do you really think I'd leave him on his own? Fully. <laughs> I don't know, maybe. He's like, oh, have a look under the light for me. <laughs> Is it still recording? Is it on? I was a bit in shock to be honest. Sorry? Is it on? Yeah. <laughs> when I had to leave him, he was like, Mom, Mom, Mom. Yes, right, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, exactly. why was I saying that? Because when Brian I had to get them round. To I've been out the house for 15 minutes watching the CCTV to make sure when you came home, I rolled in like a minute later. We've been watching it's like quarter past two. Well, I'm only around the corner. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, I didn't want to leave him for 20 minutes. Mm. That that's goes against the whole prank. We had this plan all day. It's like, oh, they texted earlier saying, Should we come round? No. No, no I haven't no. actually. It was after that, and then I was like, Oh, you guys have come round like two anyway. Yeah. Why did he actually cry when I picked him up though? I don't know, he doesn't like you. I thought you was just upstairs having the on the toilet or something. That's why. What, so you, did you not think I was out in the car? My car weren't there. I know that your car wasn't there, but I just didn't put two and two together. I and mean, you were faffing about the front door for ages, and I was like. Yeah, I was pretending to open the door because I knew it would have been unlocked because you went when in. When I looked through the thing, I was like, oh, there's a postman putting something through the both lead You looked through the peephole? Yes, I was like, oh, someone put it through the because I thought you were in the house. I was so thirsty. I needed a drink, I left my child. I wouldn't do that. Baby. You can take him How can you leave him? I wouldn't leave him, hence why it's a prank. Cheers, yeah. my helpers. Roro, we are prankers now, mate. Unlucky as. Pranks are starting again now. Take your child. Yep, I will take my child. I want my daddy. He's like, I've been with him all day. I want him again. Say bye, Ez. Bye, Ez. Oh, that's amazing.